Fallout. The Fallout franchise has created one of the most entertaining fictional universes in pop culture history and has given us many interesting characters, among others. Vault Boy remains one of the most iconic personalities that has come out of the dystopian Fallout universe, and he especially stands out due to his sunny, cheerful personality that contrasts the show's gloomy environment. So without further ado, let us jump right into and explore his origins as we tell you everything you need to know about Vault Tech's charming mascot, Vault boy. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you, and let's begin. Who is Vault Boy? Appearing in numerous advertisements, manuals, and training films for the Vault Tech Corporation, Vault Boy established his position as their mascot. This corporation built a bunch of fallout shelters across the United States right before the nuclear holocaust, which later set the premise of the dystopian Fallout universe. Vault Boy later appeared as the mascot of the Fallout universe game series, where he was used to represent all the items available to the players, as well as other stats such as traits, perks, skills, and so on. In this series, Vault Boy was portrayed as a youthful character with wavy blonde hair and a broad smile, and he could be easily identified due to the Vault jumpsuit he wore in most of his appearances. His character was designed by Leonard Boyarsky, who sought inspiration from 1950s films such as Duck and Cover to give shape to Vault Boy. Sadly, Vault Boy is often confused with Pip Boy or Fallout Boy, but Leonard Boyarsky has established that these are entirely different characters. The confusion only arose around around 2001 when Microforte and other developers of a spin-off titled Fallout Tactics Brotherhood of Steel confused Vault Boy with Pip Boy. While this led to some raised eyebrows, Microforte's choice of names stuck with writers and Chris Avalon continued to use the name Vault Boy while writing and publishing the Fallout Bible in 2002. Despite this mix-up, Vault Boy has managed to stay relevant over the years and critics often praise him as one of the most recognizable elements of the Fallout franchise. Later on, franchise's developers Bethesda Softworks stepped up and established Vault Boy as their official mascot after their acquisition went through in the mid-2000s. As the official franchise mascot, Vault Boy often wears a wide, devil-may-care grin and has a nasty sense of humor. It's like this. And if the cloud is smaller than you found, how the Fallout show incorporates Vault Boy. The Fallout TV show has recently premiered on Prime Video, and it is a live-action spin on the post-apocalyptic Fallout universe. Ever since the first teaser for the show was released, we have seen several hints of Vault Boy's presence scattered across the trailer in the form of Easter eggs. Vault Boy has become such an integral part of the universe, and his character was also included in several posters and promotional materials for the show. Among other things, it is guaranteed that the show might even give us a proper origin story for this character character, and some scenes from the trailer also depict rare Vault Boy bobbleheads, which gives us some even more hope that the show will do justice to his character. Vault Boy's Appearances To begin with, Vault Boy appears as a typical representation of all game stats and equipment in games such as Fallout 3, Fallout 4, Fallout New Vegas, and Fallout 76. Besides this, his character was also seen in the form of bobbleheads in all of these games, along with a snow globe in Fallout New Vegas, and a puppet in One Man and a Crate of Puppets. In some of these appearances, Vault Boy appears alongside another Vault Boy, who can be differentiated due to his brown hair. At the same time, in other scenarios, this famous mascot has Vault Girl by his side. In Fallout 2, we briefly saw a dark-skinned version of Vault Boy appearing in the Leaving the Vault video, where he also had a crew cut instead of his standard wavy blonde hair. Besides this, Vault Boy has also appeared in Vault Tech commercial in the Fallout intro, and has video appearances in the Prepare for the Future marketing strategy in Fallout 3, and the What Makes You Special videos in Fallout 4. He later appeared in the You Will Emerge Technicolor videos in Fallout 76. Volt Boy makes some form of a statement in every Fallout media and he even appears as an actual person in Fallout Tactics and Fallout Brotherhood of Steel. Hey, I, I, I have an idea. What if, uh, what if I do were to do like a thumbs up? Interesting facts about Vault Boy. 1. Vault Boy was a registered trademark character. While Vault Boy is a registered trademark of the Vault Tech Corporation, his official name has never really been used, which also gives rise to a lot of confusion between him and Pip Boy. However, this is just the tip of the iceberg, and there are many other things that we don't know about his character. 
2. His final look involved the contribution of several artists. For instance, Leonard Boyarsky designed his character after seeking inspiration from the rich Uncle Pennybag's mascot from the Monopoly board game, and then Tramel Ray Isaac worked on his final design. Leonard commented that he pictured a skill guy while designing his character, and he then handed the design to George Alman before Isaac finally added the finishing touches on his character. Over the years, several artists have worked on his design, and Brian Menz drew up his images for Fallout 2 and Fallout New Vegas, while Natalia Smirnova designed a Fallout 3 counterpart. 3. Vault Boy has appeared in other media After becoming a household name, Vault Boy's popularity attracted the attention of different franchises. He appeared in a 2002 action-adventure video game, Run Like Hell, wherein his character was printed onto candy bars called Pip Boy Protein Bars. One of his bobbleheads also appeared in Rage, a video game set in a similar post-apocalyptic setting. 4. Vault Boy played a controversial role in Fallout 2. As we've explored earlier, Vault Boy represented several game features and stats. Among other things, Fallout 2 included a child killer role where Vault Boy was seen kicking a pregnant woman. However, this image had to be discarded soon after it was first created as the franchise gained more popularity. It eliminated the concept of hurting children in the game entirely. Many of his appearances were inspired by comic books. Volt Boy has been used to represent several perks in the Fallout video games, and many of these scenarios include hidden comic book references that were weaved into the plot by the creators. For instance, there is a scenario where Volt Boy gains an adamantium skeleton, which directly references the Wolverine comics. In another scene, we see Volt Boy channeling his nerd rage, a panel where he grows muscles and appears in a similar form as Bruce Banner when he turns into the Hulk. Another perk is the toughness perk where Volt Boy assumes a form similar to Superman and gains additional strength. The rumors behind his iconic thumbs-up pose. Vault Boy's most famous image involves him grinning wildly while giving a thumbs-up, and there have been many theories surrounding this particular pose. While this can typically be attributed to signaling that everything is alright, some fan theories suggest that he was trying to measure the size of a nuclear explosion to gauge whether he was safe from any threats. While this might sound silly, this theory gained much traction and the creators had to step up and debunk it eventually. Marvel's Verdict To wrap things up, Volt Boy has earned quite a name for himself within the Fallout universe and one can even say that his fan following has boosted the franchise's popularity to a great extent. From being an integral part of the video games to appearing in a live-action show, Volt Boy is going places and we are pretty eager to see how his story arc unfolds in the future releases. If you like our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks everyone!